Welcome to video number 10 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGee, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. A destination is a place that offers all four of tourism's operating sectors. Often destinations and attractions are used as interchangeable terms, but that is incorrect. Most destinations include multiple attractions, and destinations not only include attractions that draw tourists to them, but they also provide the transportation required for accessibility and the accommodations in food and beverage required to provide the hospitality for tourists to enjoy an extended stay away from home. Part of the confusion comes from the fact that some attractions, such as Disney World in Orlando, Florida, are so big they also include the other three operational sectors within their business portfolio. Or a major destination will be referred to as an attraction because tourists are attracted there. To avoid confusion, just remember, destinations include all four of the operating sectors. Destinations are the basic unit of the tourism industry. They are where the tourism action takes place. They are the places that tourists visit, where the tourism businesses are located that cater to them, and where the infrastructure and facilities are built to support them. As such, considerable expertise is utilized by government agencies and private businesses to develop and manage successful destinations. Destination marketing organizations, DMOs, are the key to a destination's ongoing success. They research many facets of tourism demand and help the local tourism businesses provide the appropriate supply of tourism products to serve them properly. They also do everything from creating the destination's image to crafting and delivering its promotional message via multiple platforms in the target markets that it identifies. A destination may be standalone, which means tourists visit it, spend their entire trip there, and then return home. But most destinations are part of an itinerary that includes multiple destinations, depending on the purpose of a trip or the theme of an arranged tour. Destinations within an area can be similar and help create and sustain a theme or an in-depth experience, or they can be complementary and utilize their uniqueness to provide variety to the overall tourism experience. Nearby destinations often cooperate and compete with each other in what is known as coopetition. Generally speaking, the more viable destinations there are within an area, the more everyone prospers, especially when they have complementary attractions that help to extend the tourist season and expand the range of tourists the area will attract. Tour companies look for clustered destinations that enable them to create interesting and properly paced itineraries some of which are visited during the day, while others serve as overnight and multi-day destinations. In previous videos, the terms local people and community have been used in regards to stakeholders within a tourism destination. Although a destination is a physical place, we must always remember that somebody calls it home. And whether the residents are indigenous to the area with deep roots in its past or relative newcomers, they will have a vested interest in the long-term success of how it is developed and managed. Attractions are the heart of a destination, but the local people and their heritage are its soul. Popular destinations are known for their natural and scenic beauty, unique culture and ethnicity, ambiance and lifestyle, nightlife and entertainment, cuisine, and much more. Tourists also enjoy sightseeing at their famous landmarks and historic sites, attending their festivals and events, and participating in their seasonal recreational activities made possible by local weather conditions that range from daily sunshine to heavy snowfall. The quality and variety of a destination's attributes can make it a year-round favorite among tourists or one that is just seasonal. In my opinion, every destination in the world competes with every other destination in the world. While this may sound strange, think about it in terms of the investment, promotional noise, source markets, transportation connections, and tour packages each destination would like to have. When tourists spend their time, money, and energy visiting a domestic destination, they may have to forgo a trip to an international one. 
Tourists have many options and a specific destination is only one of many. Now I invite you to watch video number 11, Three Types of Tourists. Thank you.